love is Victoria here and you're watching My Books and Me. As we are in the silly season, I thought I would share with you guys some books that you should read this holiday season. Um, I've come to realize I don't own too many Christmas books. So before we get too far, let me know in the comments below some books that are very Christmassy, that are actual Christmas books. Um, I feel like I did... Now, I did a top five Wednesday, I think two years ago now, where I recommended five Christmas reads or Christmas holiday reads. And... They're pretty much all the same that I'm talking about here. Four of these books are actually holiday books. Two um, are books that have Christmas in them. And another one hasn't got Christmas in it at all, but it's a book that I feel like could be Christmassy. I don't know. Let's just get into it. There's seven books that you should definitely read this holiday season. And they're probably books you already have read, but I feel like they're also books that you can reread again at Christmas time. So we'll start off with the actual Christmas books. The first one is a Christmas staple and that is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I particularly love this Penguin English Library edition of the book. It's so pretty. Um, I read this for the first time in 2015 and I'm planning on reading it again this Christmas. I love the story of A Christmas Carol and I love the adaptations, movie adaptations that this has produced. So to go back and actually read the original is really good. Charles Dickens can be a little bit difficult to get into uh, writing style wise but I'm really I really love this story and reading it is really really good and I think it has it's just a it's just a book you have to read and if you've only ever watched a movie adaptation of it I really recommend reading the book you know what I'm actually really excited about there's a, a movie coming out I think it's this Christmas um, based on Charles Dickens writing this book which I'm excited for but yeah definitely read this if you haven't and particularly if you do love the adaptations of it but you just haven't got around to reading it it is only a novella um, and it's quite a quick read too. The next one is My True Love Gave To Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins, and it contains stories by Holly Black, Ali Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Leatherton, Kelly Link, Myra McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lady Taylor, and, and Kirsten White. So a really great selection of YA authors. Um, and there's 12, yeah, there's 12 stories in here, so you can really do the whole 12 days of Christmas with reading a new story every night or every day kind of thing. Um, the stories in here aren't just set at Christmas, Christmas, they're definitely just set through the entire holiday period. There's some New Year's stories in here, some Christmas stories, just some general winter stories. Um, but it's definitely a really great book to read, especially if you do only want to read short stories here or there. And it's also a great way to discover some amazing new authors. These are all authors that I've either read or I really, really want to read and have heard amazing things about. So definitely pick this up if you haven't already and definitely give some of these stories a read. Now the next two Christmas reads are children's books but honestly they are books that anyone of any age can read and they just make Christmas Christmas. The first one is How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Zeus. Dr. Zeus I think was such a fantastic writer um, in just how he wrote. His writing style is really good and you know even while it is targeted at children it's still really fun and as an adult to read it and I think the story of the Grinch is really great in that Christmas isn't about the presents and the food it's about being around, surrounded by those you love, uh, friends and family and just having a really great day not so much actually you know get, being gifted a ton of things or having like the biggest Christmas feast it's all about just being surrounded by the people you love and having fun and feel and having the day filled with love and laughter and friendship and I just love reading The Grinch I love watching the adaptations of The Grinch and reading The Grinch as well it's definitely what I say for closer to Christmas and a Christmas Eve must read is uh, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour this one has illustrations by Tom Brown Browning there are so many different um, editions of this um, this one I really really like because it's got some very traditional artwork in it there's definitely ones that are very much targeted to little little kids that have really bright and fun illustrations. I feel like this one is probably a little bit more, I mean it's still kids, um, but you know it can be very much appreciated by adults. Um, there's probably so many more editions out there that you can get as well. I know you can easily read this online, but um, I recommend getting a book. Um, it's just, this is just such a really fun poem and everyone knows it or at least knows the gist of it and you really do have to read it on Christmas Eve, no matter how old you are. You can be 8 or you can be 80 and you still really enjoy this little poem. Right, so now onto the two books that aren't necessarily Christmas reads but they do have stuff about Christmas in them. The first one is of course Harry Potter. I recommend probably the first five books are the best ones to read for Christmas, wi uh, Christmas wise because that's when they really have the most Christmas uh, chapters in it, although Deathly Hallows is quite good because we get the whole um, 
Godric's Hollow a bit. I feel like uh, Goblet of Fire, I feel like The Philosopher's Stone is a good one because, well firstly it's the shortest book, but because it's Harry's first Christmas at Hogwarts. Or then you have The Goblet of Fire when you actually have the Yule Ball, but really any of the Harry Potter books are perfect to read at Christmas, whether you pick one that's got a lot of Christmas stuff in it or not. It's just a warm, cozy read and it's just such a magical book that you have to read it at Christmas or at least be reading some of it at Christmas. And I also recommend probably reading the illustrated editions because the artwork in them are so great and I feel like it just adds to the Christmas magic. And the other one is The Chronicles of Narnia, number two, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, particularly because this is when Christmas returns to Narnia and we get that whole chapter about um, Christmas coming back and the kids meeting Saint Nick and just the fact that them being there has made it so that Christmas can return and the reign of the White Witch is coming to an end. Um, on, and just because this takes place in winter, that's another good reason why you should read it. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of Narnia, I definitely recommend rereading this one. If you love the movies, reread, reread. If you love the movies, read this, um, but I feel like this is this is probably the best one Christmas-wise. So now finally, my last recommendation I feel like is a little bit odd, but when I was looking at my bookshelf, thinking of books to recommend to you guys, I kept coming back to this one and I don't know why but I'm going to recommend it and I think it's just generally because the world in this book is very magical and I really would love to see Christmas set within this world. I think it would be really really good. Maybe Christmas would be set. I don't know if Christmas is actually a thing in this world but if it is I'm hopefully, hoping maybe Christmas will be a thing in the next book. I don't really know. But that is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Um, I've talked about this book quite a lot this year because it's such a great book. Um, but the world that we get to see in, but the world of Caravel that we get to see in the Caravel in this book is very magical and there are a lot of really beautiful descriptions of the world. And I, and apart from it just being magical and Christmas being all about reading magic stuff, um, I think this, I can just picture what Christmas would be like in this book. I love the world of Caravel and that's mainly the reason why I'm recommending it to you because the world is so beautiful and magical that it's just such, it's a book that you have to read at Christmas. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's just weird to be recommending this, but I think it kind of works. And if you've read it, maybe you might agree. I don't really know, but I loved this book and I recommend reading it. And I feel like because this world is just so magical, it's a really great time to read it at Christmas. And I can really just imagine what Christmas would be like in this world. I'd love to see Christmas in this world. I think it would be really, really good. So that is seven Christmas well, holiday recommendations for you guys. As I said, let me know in the comments below some Christmas books you think I should check out. Next year, I'm going to read more Christmas books. This year I've kind of fallen by the wayside of reading holiday books mainly because I don't have many to read but definitely next year let me but definitely let me know some of your favorite Christmas reads and recommendations and if you made a video like this let me know because I'd love to check it out. Hope you guys have over on my second channel Just Me Victoria I'm gonna have a Christmas films video going up on Wednesday so check that out when it goes live I'll link to the channel in the description below make sure you give it a subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week with a bookshelf tour that I know you guys are gonna love so I'll see you guys then bye